good morning dear friends and brothers and sisters greetings in the name of the lord jesus christ the lord has added to us another new day and every morning his mercies are very new so as you begin your life today and before you get into uh, today's activities give yourself a few minutes listen to the voice of god and take the word that is coming to you in your heart and your day shall be blessed i would like to read this passage found in first samuel chapter 26 verse 25 2625 first samuel says these are the words of the first king of israel king saul to david chosen of god and it says then saul said to david may you be blessed david my son you will do great things and surely triumph so david went on his way and saul returned home may you be blessed and you will do great things and surely you will triumph the success formula of for david given by god through the mouth of david's worst enemy who is his uh, is 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 the great enemy none other than king saul he became enemy of god and enemy of david the ways of god are wonderful my brothers and sisters god blesses the man he loves through the mouth of his greatest enemy david expressed it in his psalm 23 verse a Our God is a God who prepares a table for us before our enemies. All the above three blessings became realities in the life of David if you study David's life. He said God bless you be blessed number 1 you will do great things number 2 and you will surely triumph oh yes in david's life we see all these three has to become a reality and he enjoyed god's blessing and uh, great things the lord has done in him and through him and also the triumphs the victories he was always the victorious one in every battle now Uh, let us examine this threefold formula of success not in details just mentioning number 1 you will be blessed that refers to that can be uh, refers to the salvation david was blessed of god by the salvation he enjoyed from his god he was one of the most favored a uh, servant of god david a man after god's own heart because david's heart was always broken and always turning towards god and he was always praising god and exalting god and uh, and therefore from all your enemies who is you know, who is your worst enemy the worst enemy of you is none other than yourself and it was therefore we find it in david's life is always pleading god for salvation and for uh for for him to be forgiven 
and uh, be victorious over sin and temptations so god is able to save and uh, he, he, the, uh, we ourselves can be the greatest hindrance to the flow of blessings upon our lives and uh, this salvation saves us from our own uh, self and uh, you will be blessed of the lord that's what the uh, first blessing says and that included protection provision and god's presence these three blessings always followed david even when he was running away from saul and the second you notice you will do great things and that is power first one is salvation and then we have this power displayed in david's life they that trust the lord shall do valiantly and that is one of the psalms and uh, let me remind you once again a man he may be weak in itself in himself and he may be a, a, a defeated one in himself and outwardly also if somebody look at you they may not see anything worth in you so in yourself you cannot and yet such a person when joined to god he becomes a mighty majority you can never be defeated by the enemy by satan by the devil when you are with god and this is a great blessing you may be so weak you may think in yourself i am nothing i am a nobody and uh, you know some people have this habit oh what am i i am not worthy you know a, a self abasement and that is that is good in a sense that it will keep you humble but at the same time when you realize that you are a friend of god and you always exalt god and you always praise him and in your weakness you will find your strength his strength is made whole now my brothers and sisters you may be nothing in your own eyes and yet when you love the lord and when you experience god's presence and when you know that god is with you then who can be against you god is for you then what can man do always remember you will be victorious and that power of god will be displayed in your life power of god so be humble at the same time always exalt the lord and make sure that you are with god and the third is you shall triumph that means you are victorious you will be an overcomer that is the meaning temptations and all kinds of evil you will be victorious over all when you love the lord with your whole heart and you follow him that is the blessing and may the lord bless you as you begin your day and at the end of this day you will have reason to praise the lord thank you holy spirit of god we pray that these threefold blessings shall be ours as david enjoyed it and we too can enjoy because you have not changed so lord i commit myself to you Jesus thank you Amen God bless you this is a great day enjoy your life with the Lord Amen